We Happy Few. A game that I don't really think much of. I don't, you know, follow any news relating to it. I don't follow the creators behind it. I've never played the game. I have seen some people play early versions of the game. It doesn't seem like my sort of thing. But it recently came up in the news that it has been refused classification in Australia. Oh boy, here we go again. Okay, listen. If you're not from Australia, you might not know that it took us quite a long time for us to get an R18 rating for video games. That means games that had too much violence, too much, you know, drug use, sexuality, or something obscene would be completely banned in Australia or require heavy censorship to even make it here. One very notable uh, occurrence of this happening is Left 4 Dead 2, which actually had the game completely censored. It was horrid. You would have zombies that would disappear within seconds and gently float to the ground. There would be no blood on the screen, there would be nothing like that. So all the fun you would get from slaying hordes and hordes of, you know, ravenous, mind-fucked-up zombies is completely ruined because the Australian government decided that adults aren't responsible enough to play those sorts of games. And We Happy Few has been caught by this sort of web, despite us actually having an R18 rating, which definitely says you have to be over the age of 18 to purchase this, right? So, I'm looking at a uh, pressstart.com.au article about this, um, that We Happy Few has been refused classification in Australia. The listing notes that this game was refused classification in accordance with reason, games 1A, which states, the computer game is classified RC in accordance with the National Classification Code, computer games table A1. As computer games that depict, express, or otherwise deal with matters of sex, drug misuse, or addiction, crime, cruelty, violence, or revolting or abhorrent phenomena in such a way that they offend against the standards of morality, decency, propriety, generally accepted by reasonable adults to the extent they should not be classified. So essentially, they're basically saying adults are too delicate to handle any sort of matters of sex, drug misuse, addiction, crime, cruelty, violence, despite most of us experiencing one or more of these things before we even hit the age of 18. It's, it's just, it's, it boggles my mind that essentially what they're saying is, yes, we know you are currently 42, have three kids and a full-time job, but you can't handle what sexuality is. It's, it's insanity. So, it's now been completely banned from Australia, and they most likely have to go back and change a few things, because apparently Australia's too delicate. You know, despite us, you know, being adults, we can't handle matters of sex, drug misuse, addiction, crime, cruelty, or violence. We, we simply can't handle it at all. Meanwhile, games like Grand Theft Auto and Far Cry 5 have made it through practically unscathed, despite the main focus of those games being, you know, to be an absolute fucking criminal. In GTA 5, <laughs> you have missions that reward you for being as violent and destructive as you can be. In this game, you're a character who's actually fighting against the government regime of drug abuse. You're fighting against the government giving people happy pills just to stay happy. And that's been banned in Australia. Fighting against it. It's almost as if there was a game based on a drug task force that took out drug dealers being banned because it involves the word drugs. 
oh, it boggles my mind that they think that Australia's adult culture is so innocent. We're not innocent. Yes, we have innocent people, but we're not all innocent. I am very, very well aware of this. I myself do not partake in drugs, okay? I've never taken them. I might one day, who knows? But currently, I don't want any. However, I know people that do take drugs. And they're good friends of mine. I mean, of course, if they suddenly turned out to be a complete addict and stabbed me with a shiv, then yes, I would have a problem with them. But as it turns out, they can still be decent people despite there being drugs in the mix. Why? Because I'm an adult. They're an adult. We are responsible. And so what the government's saying here is that all adults are not responsible enough to take a game like this and play it without being suddenly magically compelled to, you know, shoot heroin in our eyeballs. And it's absolute insanity. The board is basically comprised of people above the age of 60 thinking that Pong was a bit too lewd. <sighs> Seriously, I could talk about this subject. I can rant and rave for as long as I want, but I want to try and keep this relatively short. So I just wanted to explain my, no, my, my thoughts on what's going on here. I don't even know if this will be a video. Um, if you're watching this, and obviously it is. So, yay. I made a video. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll end on um, this topic. On this statement, I should say. The Australian Classification Board, if you are watching this, we are adults. We deal with worse shit than what is depicted in these games on a daily basis. Okay? We are not all delicate snowflakes. A lot of us can handle this shit. And the people that are delicate snowflakes will generally not buy these things. So, please... Leave video games alone. <laughs>